Recently, a sixth grade student at Richardson Middle School in Dracut, Massachusetts, asked me a few questions about my career and path to success. I thought others may want to know. As an architect, what is your typical day like? My role is different from many others, given the fact that I manage and run a team within my practice as the principal architect. For instance, I respond to many emails, inquiries, and participate in many events to both promote our office and network with others. I review drawings for consistency and clarity, as well as compliance with general building and zoning codes. I also mentor and guide team members regarding their needs professionally and personally. How do you deal with frustration and failure? I tend to focus on what I can control and figure out what went wrong that I can change in the future. Fail is equal to first attempt in learning, meaning I need to try again in another way, and maybe at the time, my skills are not to the degree they need to be. I focus on actions, however small or big, to improve for the next round. Why and when did you decide to become an architect? When I enrolled in the Universidad Autonoma de Santo Domingo in the DR and I was not doing so well but I thought this was a highly rewarding and creative place for me to grow and use my skills. I enjoyed the entire process of learning and making things that eventually got built and people lived in and enjoyed. What advice would you give to your younger self? Stay curious, stay the course. You are different from other folks. Don't try to fit in or be like others. Embrace your inner self. Do not make excuses. So what if you did not meet your dad when you were little? You will eventually meet him. So what if you fail once or twice? Keep moving forward. It will pay off. How did you manage to get to this point you're at now? With the help of God, whom I ask for guidance and clarity of purpose. Once such clarity of purpose and direction comes, I act on such emotions and do not give up until I achieve the goal. I have combined hard work with clarity of direction and faith that everything will fall into place. Have you ever felt like you wanted to give up? A couple of times I felt a bit discouraged, but it was because I did not see the big picture of my life. You need to see where you are in the process from birth to death and understand that you have a purpose between 1989 and those unknowns. You have the authority and the power to shift directions and make amends if you fail or get it wrong. Just think of the bigger picture. What is the story others will say or tell of you? If you didn't decide to become an architect, what would you be? Sometimes I wake up wanting to be an attorney, and other days a motivational speaker or a priest slash pastor. The attorney because there is a lot of injustice out there, and I want to make a better world by helping others. I guess motivational speakers and priests believe there is good out there that needs to be managed, empowered, and guided. <laughs>